Okay, guys, welcome back to a brand new video with me, of course, Zero Blood. Guys, you're in this video today. What we're going to be talking about is everything I hate about Flight Simulator 2020 and what I'm hoping changes in Flight Simulator 2024, which is out on the 19th of November. Um, right. Yeah. Okay, guys. So, um, yeah, I mean, the, we all know Flight Simulator 2024 is coming, guys. But the big question everyone wants to know is, is it really going to meet the hype? Um, you know, I, I mean, in 2020, Flight Simulator came out after 20 years um, oh, Flight Simulator X was just a facelift of the previous Flight Simulators. Um, Flight Simulator 2020 wasn't a facelift. It was just off the scale, guys. Uh, I mean, do you remember the first introduction to it? I mean, that blew me away, guys, in every sense. Um, you know, as soon as I seen that, I was like, wow. Wow, this is wow. I mean, wow, uh, you know what I mean? Wow, <laughs> that's tea. I right, uh, but yeah, you know what I mean, guys. I was just blown away by it. So, this time, I'm not gonna be blown away. I mean, I wasn't blown away by um, the new trailer to it. Um, it basically looked the same as what, what we all see. Um, you know what I mean? And things like that. So, already, I'm not speechless over Flight Simulator 2024. Um, you know what I mean? I, yeah, I'm looking forward to it coming out. Um, but if they put it off until April, May next year... I wouldn't be bothered, you know what I mean? I wouldn't be that bothered because we've got Flight Simulator 2020 and it does the job incredibly well. Now, what we're talking is what do I hate about Flight Simulator 2020? And guys, hate is a big word and, and there's not a lot of things that I hate really on Flight Simulator. Um, you know, if we're going to dig deep down, um, you know, there's just little things, guys, which I'm hoping are going to be fixed in Flight Simulator 2024. Now, the first one, guys, is overlapping aircrafts at the terminal. Um, for me, that's a, that, 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 it's annoying. It ruins your flight. Uh, you know, if you, you know, you set your flight up, um, you know, and if you're doing it properly, you know, you set your, your, your route up, your plan, you know, your aircraft, you know, uh, and everything else, guys. And that takes about 15 minutes sometimes to do, um, you know, while you're planning, you know, your, your approach, your arrival um, and things like that. Uh, and then you spawn at the airport at the gate that you've selected guys and there's already a plane there and you're basically overlapping it uh, you know it looks hideous guys and, and it really does annoy me um, and do you know what I've even done a test guys of will it disappear after five minutes and it doesn't uh, the aircrafts don't disappear after five minutes so uh, in my case I have to restart the entire flight and select a different gate um, and hope that there isn't an aircraft there. Now, on Flight Simulator, it does tell you if the gate is free for you to park, uh, and this still happens, so that is a big, big, um, a big, big hate of mine. I really do hate it, you know, when I... I've done everything like that. I mean, in some cases, guys, that's happened and I've gone, oh, I can't be arsed with this flight and I've actually turned me Series X off, um, you know, in a mood. Uh, so, <laughs> you know what I mean? It is serious in the Zero Blog household. Um, guys, while we're talking about aircrafts um, uh, in the terminal, we may as well talk about lingering aircrafts on the runway. Um, this has happened to me a few times as well. Um, the where you are, uh, you know, 
getting ready to line up to take off and, and there's already an aircraft there um so i wait you know like you like you do as a pilot you wait um and sometimes guys they're there for like 10 minutes and i'm just like what and then all of a sudden they disappear i mean that really annoys me because i'm like i've been waiting 10 minutes and then that happens um you know it really does uh, annoy me uh, now guys all of this is down to ai this is you know everyone goes on about how incredible ai is not in this case not in this case it's shit because ai can't work out if you're going to be at a gate or not or if you're uh, on the runway and when to decide to fly the aircraft you know what i mean it is it's just ridiculous so i'm hoping that them two i'm going to put them together them two things have to change in flight simulator 2024 in regards to uh actually the actual simulator itself and 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 you know flying aircrafts and things that's got to change in my opinion now guys next at the terminal people yeah people now the people on the ground i mean they all look the same to be fair they all wear sunglasses for some reason <laughs> um uh, I, I would like to see you know them doing more jobs you know what i mean and things like that um yeah this is like a pretty big subject which i'm gonna cover here this covers all kinds of um uh, all kinds of scenarios and things like that so i'm gonna basically just talk about it as a whole um so yeah the people on the ground i would like to see more of um uh, the baggage loading situation uh, i would like to see the baggage um entering the aircraft and um coming out of the aircraft uh, at the moment we've just got it going into the aircraft um you know it, it would be nice if if they, they would unload as well as as just loading the aircraft um uh, now this is a big one as well for me this is a big one right you've got the jetway connection yeah um <clears throat> now what i like about the jetway connection is the jetway connects to the aircraft and stays there until you tell it otherwise now the staircase doesn't um you know the staircase you know attaches to the aircraft and then for some reason after a couple of minutes or even a minute it'll reverse back and then go back into its p position um in an unrealistic way guys because it would take a lot longer than a minute to um uh, fill an aircraft um so why we go on to that people yeah people i would like to see people um embark in the aircraft i would like them to see them uh, especially on the uh, the steps you know what i mean on the steps uh, obviously you're not going to be able to see them in the jetway um but i would like to see them embark in the aircraft uh, from the ground onto the steps going it like in a queue that would be so easy to do they've already generated uh, workers uh, uh, on the air ground uh, on the airport ground so why not just add some people to do it as well that shouldn't be too hard um and to be fair i am expecting to see that in 2024 so we'll sort it out because i'm expecting it uh, <laughs> now guys this really does annoy the hell out of me. ai pilots now guys this really annoys me um you know what i mean when you actually go outside of the aircraft looking in i don't know what flight simulator and a sobo studios were thinking about when they decided to put a man and a woman in their own clothes with sunglasses on and a cap i just don't understand why you would do that uh, you know on a commercial airliner with passengers going on holiday and the pilots are dressed like me <laughs> you know what i mean that is uh, it annoys me so much guys because i look in uh, and it you know it could be good for thumbnails as well but you can't put a thumbnail saying a380 landing in dubai or a380 whatever and a, a nice angle into the cockpit and then you see two idiots sitting in there in their own clothes with caps on uh, you know what i mean <laughs> that 
has to change. Uh, it's ridiculous. Maybe in a Cessna, yeah? But not in an A320 Neo with Tui all over it. <laughs> you know what I mean? You, you've got to get it right. Um, now, while we're talking about inside of the aircraft, guys, I would like to see passengers and crew inside of the aircraft. Um, I, I would uh, pass. The, it's just a must. Now, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, yeah, zero bug. But when you think it is a flying simulator, you're there to fly not to look at passengers that, that that's bullshit that's a load of bollocks i don't agree with that one bit it, it's that it's part of the experience uh, you know what i mean uh, allowing you to go into the back of the aircraft and see passengers and crew and and things like that doing what they do wouldn't that motivate you more to to want to wanna fly places i know it's only a little thing in your head but you think yeah there's passengers back there, you know what I mean? This is serious. Um, you know that, so I would like, uh, I'm expecting that, a Sobo. <laughs> There's two expectations already, which I'm expecting it to be there. Right, so, uh, aircraft, I mean, to be fair, that really covers the, 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 the people side of things. Um, I mean, <clears throat> we are going to do another video of this uh, topic, guys, because there's just too much to cover in a video. Uh, so in the video, we are going to do... But we're just going to basically... Okay, we'll focus on people and... People. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, like I say, so what we've covered at the minute is ground crew needs to be improved. Uh, the aircraft gate, uh, overlapping aircrafts, um, uh, AI aircrafts in general are just shit. You know, half of them around the airport guys are floating. You know what I mean? They're not actually grounded. Uh, so, again, that needs touching up. Um, now, do you know what I've noticed as well? That And this is a big one for me as well, because I do the fans' flights, but not just the fans' flight. Other flights on Flight Simulator. Um, you sh I don't know what it is, but all of the aircrafts, guys, they always get automatically uh, generated to an A320 Neo uh, standard with no livery on it. Um, you know, now I don't know whether that's got something to do with the fact that the person hasn't bought the livery pack. I can't understand why. It's only like a fiver, you know what I mean? Just buy it. Um, I don't know if that's got anything to do with it. Um, but like, like for instance, the fans flights for me, <laughs> there's so many things that annoy me because there's, the aircrafts are unliveried. The aircrafts are incorrect to what you guys are flying. You know, because if I set you a mission saying, right, you've got to fly an A320 Neo, you're not going to fly an A380. You know what I mean? And I know that that is automatically generated by Flight Simulator. Um, you know, for, for some reason. I don't know whether it's to do with privacy and security or whatever. Just, just keep it to the aircrafts, you know what I mean? If, if someone online wants to keep their aircraft private, make it available to them in the settings. Just make it available so they can go, yeah, I'm private in this one. If not, let everyone see it and get over it. So guys, that is it for this first part of this topic, what we're going to jump into. I quite like it, to be fair, because it, it, it's basically... I mean, do any of you agree? Put it in the comments what you hate. But keep it around people in this video. In the next video, guys, we'll, we'll branch out to another topic. Um, you know, something like the terminals. Uh, you know, inside the terminals. You know, in and around the terminals. You know what I mean? Things like that. Because it, it, it's all well and good handcrafting an airport and then everything around it's just ridiculous you know yeah i would like to see a big radius around it um but we'll get into that in another video but for now guys put it in the comments down below based on your 
based on people basically in and around the airport and things like jetways, AI aircrafts, what do you hate? Put it in the comments down below. I want to know what you hate about that. And then in the next topic, we'll have another conversation about what I've been talking about. So yeah, guys, get involved down below and let's talk about it. And you never know, someone from a Sobo could be watching it. I mean, they hate me. They try, yeah, they, just, <laughs> they hate, they hate, they, do you know why they hate me? Someone mentioned Zero Blog in the Flight Simulator forums, right? And uh, someone from Sobo Studios replied to somebody and they said, Did do you know Zero Blog? Um, and they, they, I think the, the reply from Sobo Studios was, Oh no, what's he done now? <laughs> oh, I swear down, I swear to God, guys, they did, they hate me. Um, but yeah, okay, guys, that's it for this video. Make sure you share, like, and subscribe, and we will be back for the next topic on things we love and things we hate. In this video today, it was just about hate. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot to say the stuff I like. I'll put that in the next one. Okay, right, I'm going. All right, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'll see you um, see you soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.